Well, hello there. Hey, this is Sagatness. And welcome to Cooking with Sagatness. I had the bright idea of almost attempting to order breakfast this morning. And I forgot that I got one of the best things you can have for breakfast in the morning. So, I'm going to show you guys how... I make it. So what you're gonna need is two packets of some good old Quaker Oats dinosaur egg oatmeal. Maple and brown sugar actually with dinosaur eggs. You're gonna need some orange juice, a cup, a spoon, a bowl, and a container with some hot water. So Yes, on this. You're gonna want to put your oatmeal in the bowl. Oh, ballet! I'm recording, get out. Be washing hands. We wash hands now. So now that you have your oatmeal in your bowl, so add your desired amount of water. That mm. butt. I don't like too much water. I kind of add it bit by bit. And if I do end up adding too much water, I just add another packet of oatmeal. Because I don't want it runny, I want it chunky. So if it's like a soup, I add like one more. Okay. And I did add a little bit too much water, so. And be sure to stir it up really good. Yeah, so it's way too runny. Added just a little bit too much. I can't really see it because there we go. See, it's it's way too runny. So those are my last two packs from my last box. So I gotta get a new box <laughs> and add one more in. probably be watching this later. And I definitely told him I was just playing. But, you know. Don't want to lose an ounce of that. So you pour it in. And if you added too much water at the beginning and you added one more to thicken it up, you probably shouldn't add any more water. If you do, just add a teeny tiny bit. There we go. Yeah. Because for me, I'm weird. I like mine to have a couple of intact eggs. So that way I can like crunch on them. Because I'm weird like that. But I added just a tiny splash to loosen it. Just a teeny bit. So that way it's still runny, or not runny, it's a, uh, it's like quicksand, I suppose. Like it holds its shape partially, but it still moves, you know? So, there we go. My oatmeal is finished. I don't want it super runny, but I want it to be chunky sort of which I guess is kind of the same but this is three packets of oatmeal for me anyway and see there's a little baby dinosaur in there see and now if my phone 
on will cooperate. I don't. Okay. And now for your cup. So we got some good old Tropicanta. It's a new thing. So be sure to drink things that boost your immune system. It's crazy in these streets right now. Got to be careful. So if you got multivitamins and things like that, make sure you're consuming those. For me, I'm eating things that I normally don't really eat. And I like orange juice. I just don't drink it all the time. But I'm drinking it a little more often right now. Just a little bit of extra nutrients never hurt nobody. <sighs> and yes, I wore this shirt on purpose. No worries. The worst thing you can do right now for pretty much anyone at the moment is to start panicking. Yeah, take what's going on around you seriously, but don't start, you know, losing your sense of stability, I guess. No. Just don't start freaking out a whole lot and, like, going over the top to get stuff done. Like, just kind of chill out. Kind of chill out assess the situation and just figure out what you actually need and get that because I mean as much as I wish I could just go out and like panic buy a bunch of stuff you gotta think smarter you know you can't just go out and buy whatever because you think you need it and people doing that have made stores really switch up what they're doing so now they're limiting how much people can even leave the store with because, you know, normally, you know, if you can afford it, you can buy whatever you want, how much of it you want. But since people were doing that, they now have to limit uh, how much everyone can leave the store with certain items. Because there are other people that would probably need it a hell of a lot more who can't even get it because it's gone. But anyways. Oatmeal. Anyway. <sighs> Indulge yourself, but not too much. Stay safe. Do whatever you can to keep you and your loved one's immune systems up. Check on the people you care about. And if you don't gotta go out, don't. I know I literally just said it, but be safe. I'm chilling with the breakfast. I'm fitting to go wash me some Sailor Moon. My area isn't exactly on quarantine or anything like that, but we're being advised to stay in and not go out unless it's absolutely necessary. And... Since my working situation was one of the first things to get cut off, I'm just waiting for the green light for everything to be alright and for me to return to work. Same thing with my dad. So, if you don't have anything going on at the moment, I know you got some streaming subs somewhere. Chill out and binge some stuff. Some you wouldn't normally watch, try it out. Maybe you might like it. You got a whole bunch of new shit you can watch. Me, I'm watching some old stuff I haven't seen since I was a kid. I'm enjoying it. Making sure me and the pops is good. If I need to go out to get some things, I do, and I'm really careful about it.
you know, keep in contact with your friends, make sure they're all right, check up on people, you know, well, you know, you gotta look out for number one, uh, just don't panic, stay calm, and just get what you need, nothing more, nothing less. If you gotta kinda limit how much of whatever you use, do that. Don't go over the top buying a whole, like, a surplus of stuff you don't need. I know it's really crazy, it's scary, and everything else, but it's not the end of the world. The world was supposed to end, like, 15 plus years ago. We still here. We still killing it. We still here. <laughs> like... If we were supposed to go anywhere, it would have happened a long time ago. As long as we don't start killing each other, we're gonna be okay. So, I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy my breakfast. Make sure you eat something with some nutrients in it. Possibly a couple vitamins and stuff like that. Drink the good stuff. If you haven't really started drinking water, do it now. <laughs> uh, load up on fruit juices and things like that stuff that's good for the body maybe get frozen veggies cause chances are you're probably not really gonna find a lot of the fresh stuff uh, load up on oatmeal oatmeal, super good for you super nutritious super super good and you can have what a bunch of other things um you know just chill out and keep your home situation on lock, okay? Hold it down. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.